Welcome back, art students. We are continuing our Georgia O'Keeffe um, series of artwork here, and we are now in the third column down here. Down here, we are gonna focus on her beautiful landscapes that she would do. And she would do these landscapes of the desert. And they have beautiful, beautiful, warm colored, neutral colors that sometimes meet up with the uh, very contrasting um, colors of the sky. Uh, let me see if I can find another one. Here's another great one. You can see the sky blue up against this beautiful reddish brown for the sand of the desert. That's what we're gonna do now. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to grab some crayons. Okay, you can grab some crayons here. I'm focusing on neutral colored crayons sand colored crayons, you know, ones that you might find in the desert. I'm going to start with my light peach color. You can choose any of your neutral colors that you want. And I'm going to create a hill of dirt. And I'll zoom in for you again so that we can focus on this one. This is the bottom left one. And I'm going to color in my dirt lightly. And I want to try to make this hill of dirt um, look really sandy. And I want to use different shades of brown to draw these fun little cracks that happen because it's a very dry place because this is in New Mexico. And this is the desert. And I want to try to show um, some shadows and my dirt sand. I want to show light areas where the sun is still hitting it. All right. There we go. Try and apply different types of pressure. Some areas you can apply heavy pressure, other areas you can apply light pressure, you can color on your crayon side, you can color on your crayon's pointy edge, okay? But we want to try to create this hill of dirt with little shadows um, that are kind of on it. Try different tones of browns, do a lot of Neutral color mixing. Okay, after you have colored your dirt, then what I want you to do is I want you to grab a wet watercolor brush and we're gonna go into the brown paint, brown. Gonna get my brush saturated in the brown paint now. And then I'm going to paint over my dirt. And there's a little bit of water resist happening here, and that's okay. All of my paint is gonna seep down into the white cracks. I'm gonna use plain water in my brush this time. I'm getting all of the extra brown out of it. There we go. Very nice, I like that. Very good, so it kind of looks like that, and it kind of brings out a little bit more of those nice shadows that happen in the dirt, out in the desert, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sky. You get to decide what time of day it is. Is it nighttime in the desert? Is it early in the morning? Is it middle of the day in the afternoon? What is it gonna look like? I'm gonna do middle of the day afternoon, so I'm gonna go into the blue paint. And what I recommend you do is you start at the very top here with whatever color choice you're doing, whether that's yellow, orange, you name it, draw one stripe of color up here, just like this. Whatever color choice, whether it's red, yellow, black, whatever color you chose, do one stripe of that color up here, okay? One stripe. Then wash out your brush, get all of that color washed out of your brush. Okay, 
And just load up your brush with plain water. No color in it, just get plain water in your bristles. And then we're going to invite some water down here, plain clear water. See how I'm using my plain clear water here? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're just gonna touch that line. And we're gonna allow that color to come down freely as it wishes, okay? Then we're gonna go over that area one more time. One more time, one more time. And then I'm gonna start dragging it down slowly. I'm gonna drag that color down until it finally touches the dirt. Just like that. So we should have a nice gradual change from a darker to a lighter as it comes down closer to the horizon, okay? After you do that, you're done. Good job, way to go. And we only have one more square left to do. And that will be for next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.